Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carbs and Nature of Flowers video. Today we're going to be looking at the differences between Photoshop, which is on the right of your screen, which is a paid application that we use at school all the time, and Photopea, which is a free online editing software. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with both pieces of software and to show you that you can use Photopea just as effectively um, when you're working from home, if you're remote learning, which a lot of us are at the moment, you can do the same things you would do in Classroom and Photoshop as you can do on here. Now, the first thing to do when you've opened it, obviously, file, open a new file. Then, important things to tick. In Photoshop, you need to tick on the Move tool and always have Show Transform Controls and Auto Select. Same thing on Photo P. So, you click onto the Move tool, looks the same. Transform controls and auto select. These are really important. Now, using Photoshop, we tend to use layers. We're going to do a lovely little color splash with this image. So, first thing we do here, we could unlock the layer. We can drag it into the duplicate layer, and we've got two copies of the same layer. This one, we're going to go image adjustments to black and white. Click OK. And then we can do a little bit of color splash with it. Really simple stuff. Click on the eraser tool. Make it an appropriate size. Click on the layer and start to erase some of the colors. So we can do a lovely little color splash here. Like so. I will just complete this for you. I mean, one of my favorite things to do is little color splashes. Um, there's a whole video I've done on it already, which is on... Photoshop lesson one. Have a look at that. You can see it in more detail, but here is our color splash on Photoshop. Okay, it looks like that. If we go over to Photo P and do exactly the same thing, so we need to find the layer menu. There it is. We need to hide the loom thing so we can see it better. Drag it to the one next to the dustbin. Does exactly the same thing. Go to image, find image adjustments. Look for black and white, same place. Does the same thing. Click OK. You can see that if I make this bigger, there's my two things. Go over, find the eraser tool, which is a little bit harder to find on Photo P. It will be hiding behind one of them. There it is, underneath the paintbrush. Click on it. Um, Look for the size up in the same place, make it a little bit bigger. You can see because it's free, it does the same things, it just might not be quite as pretty. And I can do my little color splash here. Um, I'll make it a little bit smaller to get the details in. And you can see using Photo P and Photoshop at this level are exactly the same. So if I then Compare the two images, there's my Photo P one, there's my Photoshop one. So you can see it's different. The, the things might be in different, slightly different places. As you see, all the tools in Photoshop are nicely laid out here. In Photo P, you've got to look for the little icon next to it to find the eraser tool. And similarly, all the other tools. Um, the layer menu still works exactly the same way. We can swap the layer of the menu layers around. You can see it goes from background up to there. We can click on it, we can do it, label the, the layers, and we can change the opacity if we want to make things slightly different, so we can change the opacity in Photo P like that, we come over to Photoshop, change the opacity in exactly the same place, so you get that kind of like half color splash, half black and white thing. Um, you save the work in the same way, so file, save as in Photoshop, call it Color Splash Flower 1. I'm going to save these into my pictures. There we go. Save. Click OK. On Photo P, do the same thing. File. Now we have to export as. We're going to look for the P we would like to export it as a oh, save PDF, save Photoshop. There we go. Um, I'm going to go to my pictures and I'm going to save it 
Vamos. Click save. There we go. Takes a little bit to save, obviously, because it's online. And um, you can see there's, they're very, very similar. I'll go back to, to how the layout is. I recommend experimenting with PhotoP, see how you get on. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about using it compared to Photoshop. And I'll be happy to answer them. Obviously, I don't work for Photoshop or PhotoP. But they're both available, and we need to use what we can when we're in this right learning situation. Okay, thank you for watching, and have fun doing your work on Photopea. Okay, thank you, and goodbye.